Hello girls and guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RoboThoughts, the most excellent series of Zero to Hero. Alright guys, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my previous uh, uh, series which I started about 1995 lessons on Python programming. It's very basics, right? Very basics of Python programming using Jetson Nano, using the Nano IDE and remotely logged into Jetson Nano headless mode, right? That That's the way you got to basically practice Linux terminal and start using Python in parallel on the terminal itself, right? So I hope most of my viewers, I, I've been getting a lot of feedback from my viewers and thanks a lot for leaving your, you know, encouraging comments and, you know, uh, giving me a thumbs up. I, I, I heard many of you got really hands on into the Linux terminal commands and also Python basics, right? Now this series guys, we are stepping, taking two, three steps forward. All right. This series is called vision intelligence on Jetson Nano zero to hero. All right. This is again zero to hero. So using Jetson Nano, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make at least probably about 100, 150 videos, maybe more, everything from scratch, right? So in comparison to what we learned in the previous series, Python series, zero to hero, Python from scratch on Linux terminal. So most of the stuff is going to be applied here, but in a more advanced way, right? So we are going to start using a professional IDE, either either PyCharm or Visual Studio. I'm going to teach you how to install those on your Jetson Nano, all right? So that we have a pretty good UI and we can play around and start processing some data and stuff like that. So guys, vision intelligence, right? It, it's, it's nothing but a computer vision. It's one subset of artificial intelligence. So I'm going to show you how to start everything from scratch, learning from the basics to step by step, step by step, moving into the advanced stages. So basically, guys, visual visual intelligence, or you can call it as a vision intelligence, or you may call it as a computer vision, whatever it is. So basically, this allows a robot to sense and recognize the surrounding environment. Okay through a camera or through even a physical sensors, a different different varieties of sensors, which I'm going to talk about one by one. All right. It th this particular part or a subset of artificial intelligence enables a robot to learn from the memory of the past experience by extracting a pattern of visual signals. It can be images. It can be video. It can be textual image captured through the camera and how that processing happens in this particular session called vision intelligence in jets and nano that's what you're going to see so basically computer vision is, is nothing but it's a science and technology of obtaining different kind of models and meanings and control information from the visual data from the vision data right from the cameras uh, there are two main fields of computer vision. One is the computational vision. That is nothing but a computer vision again, right? Which is what we are going to learn now. And also machine vision. That's a little different topic, which I'm going to maybe in the future, I might cover some aspects of that. So basically, guys, you need to understand that computer vision uh, or the vision intelligence is a very, very important aspect of the entire gamut of artificial intelligence. Okay. Computer vision plays a major, major role in robotics. It's guys, you need to understand that. So let me give you a very layman's example, right? Humans, we have eyes, right? We just visualize everything we can see and immediately we can recognize, okay, oh, right, this is a computer, there's a mouse and there's just a nano, there's a sensor, blah, 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 tree, dog, cat, all those things, right? But how do you make, how, how do you train your robot to recognize like humans, right? That's what is called the computer vision. That that's the field, right? So basically, guys, uh, in 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 this particular uh, series of lessons, I'll I'll be showing you a lot how to use the existing ANN and also show you how to build your own ANN from scratch. Okay. Now, what is an ANN, right? 
ANN is nothing but an artificial neural network. It's a piece of computing. It's a, it's a, you know, one of the pieces, one of the pieces of a computing system designed to simulate the way the human brains analyze and process the information within our brain, right? This is a natural brain, God's gift, but we are replicating that same stuff in a computer using multiple sets of algorithms and stuff, which you are going to learn over a period of time. I am going to show you how to do that, right? ANN or artificial neural network, it's, it's, it's basically, it's the foundation of artificial intelligence. It's, it's the base foundation of artificial intelligence and solves the problem and would prove any kind of impossible solution into a possible solution, right? It's a similar way, the way humans think and we try to solve a problem. I, I will also show you tons of Python libraries. You already learned basics of Python, but in this series, along with building your own AN and I'm going to parallelly, you'll be learning advanced aspects of Python as well, right? I'll be creating multiple videos on that. I'll be showing you how to do it. Okay. Uh, some of the Python libraries, uh, you know, which, which, I'll, uh, which will be used basically to use the existing pre-trained neural network from either from NVIDIA or Google or, you know, there are, there are tons, there are tons of neural network available, uh, you know, open source, those are open source. I'll show you how to take that, put it in Jetson Nano, how to play around with that and, you know, start showing the information out, right? The most exciting part of this particular series is I will show you how to configure your Jetson Nano to the external environment from camera to different kinds of sensors, motors, and so on, which will, which will basically enable you to build artificial intelligence driven robotic application, something which you can see behind me. There are, there are, there are tons of bots uh, within my lab and you know, all these bots are actually not just a physical bot with simple motors, but that has got its own intelligence. I'll, I'll show you the demos in the later stage. So. Let me also show you some of the examples, some basic examples of uh, the neural network and, you know, the uh, something like the object detection, object recognition, facial recognition and stuff like that. So those are the part of things which is going to be covered in this series. Let me show you some demos so that you have an idea where you are heading towards, right? You will know in this particular series how serious you got to be and, you know, what stuff you can learn uh, out of this tutorial series guys let me show you some example and uh, then we will take it forward from there all right so let me as we shall i'm logged into my jetson nano but this time something different i'm not logged into through putty but i connected my system through uh, a device uh, which can actually record the screen output of uh, I, I was actually struggling to take the output of jetson nano uh, how do I record the screen? Luckily, you know, one of my uh, friend, uh, Jim from Jetson Hacks, I would like to shout out to him. He helped me out uh, to, you know, procure a specific device which actually converts the video uh, output from the HDMI output into the recording uh, software. All right, guys. So let's get rolling. So let me just show you my screen. All right, we are into artificial vision intelligence on Jetson Nano screen. So this is my Visual Studio IDE, which I installed on my Jetson Nano. And let me show you some demos so that you will understand what you are going to learn. Right. So I have a folder called Vision Intelligence and let me maybe let me show you some ANN stuff. So let me show you some object. Uh, detection over here all right let me just right click and i need to run this file run python file on terminal oh man i'm struggling to get that particular aspect all right run python file on terminal let me see if my camera which is connected to Jetson Nano is on. I hope it runs. Yeah, it takes a couple of seconds guys to run these algorithms and it's, it's a data driven. It's all data driven, right? So you got to understand that. So what's happening? It should
Give me a second. Uh, there you go. All right. So this is my physical. Oh, we are getting 14 FPS, 13 to 14 FPS, which is pretty good, guys. For a small GPU enabled system. So that's me, which detects as a person. Let me show some other objects. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Okay, that's a cell phone. Can you see that? It's detected as a cell phone and then my Jetson Nano. Uh, let's see what it says looking at Jetson Nano. Cell phone. Oh, probably the Jetson Nano images I haven't uh, trained it. So I got to train the neural network. So let's see what other objects it can detect. Okay, chair behind me. There are a couple of chairs which has detected. And there are a couple of robots which I don't think that's going to detect because I didn't train it. Okay. So can you see that guys? How, how uh, you know, you, you can train your own neural network to detect objects and train the network in such a way that it detects in a perfect way and it will show you the information what what particular image it is within the video it can be image or a video right so there are a couple of things guys object detection and object recognition which is which is two different things i'm going to show you the difference okay so this is about the object recognition uh, object detection model in jetson nano all right okay person oh that's the shadow behind me <laughs> all right there are tons of other stuff which can detect around your environment let me come out of this let me also show you another example maybe yeah let me show you a face recognition stuff how it works let me do it through the live video and you will understand how it works so basically i'm using the facial recognition uh, library and i will show you how it works you are going to learn all this stuff guys in this particular series i'm going to show one by one from the basic run python file in terminal there you go this will take a couple of seconds yeah, so this might look a little complex, but do not worry, guys. I'm going to show you everything from basics, very, very basics and fundamental, and you are, you are going to really enjoy. You got to really dedicate your time. There you go, our facial recognition system. Let me see if it detects my face. Uh, it's getting hung. There you go, guys. All right, it's detecting my name, Anbu Kumar. Yeah, that's my name. There you go. Yes, perfect perfect robot thoughts no it doesn't detect <laughs> obviously it detects only the human faces yeah so this is this is how your facial recognition stuff works on jetson nano and i'm going to show you a lot of other stuff guys i'm going to show you how you can build bots robots and you know detect an image from a particular distance and make sure that the bot moves towards that particular image and it will send you the feed remotely through wi-fi or maybe some other wireless uh, network all those things are possible we are going to learn in this series guys let me give you uh, an indication this series you know unlike the python uh, basic from zero to hero every day i used to load around tens and hundreds of multiple videos but in this series it's going to be a little slow probably one or two lessons in a week I'm going to build it because it's it's a little complex and you know it has to be made in such a way that you guys understand right so you got to be patient and you got to watch out everything what I'm doing and make sure that please guys you know you you have to reach out to me for any kind of help you need and do leave a comment do please subscribe and you are going to enjoy this series and I'm going to be back soon. This is the introduction uh, session. This is the first lesson with an introduction of artificial vision computing using Jetson Nano. All right, guys. And in the next lesson, we will start from the scratch again. And uh, you got to apply some of the Python stuff which you learned in my previous series. Uh, I hope you are going to enjoy that. All right, guys. See you and do please subscribe and I'm going to be back soon. Bye bye.